What in the world there goes this car and the fire engine? There's some oh lord there's some more coming. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. There goes another one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along to another episode of the Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank. You join me here. I mean, I'm in Manitou. It's not my Manitou, though. We are simply parking this back up for the farm here. We've been using this just to load up the last of that beat. Uh, well, not last load, but the last load for today. Uh, and we're going to park this up and leave it where I'm told to leave it. And then we're going to get ourselves away. It has been another... Well, slowish day, not much able to get done really on the land because it is, uh, again, the frosty old day, but uh, we did a few little odd jobs here and there, which is fantastic. Uh, and there's a few things to kind of run through and a few things to show you there as well, which is going to be very, very good. So uh, we'll get back up to the yard. I'm excited to kind of show you what that's going to be. Uh, there's a few machinery announcements I can make as well. We have decided uh, on the new telehandler. It's not going to be a man too. It is going to be an AgriPro. We have gone for that. All of the the telehandle and the AgriPro have since left the farm, actually. As we're uh, we're waiting to get my actual my own version back is what's happening there. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen in terms of uh, when we receive delivery of an AgriPro. I don't think it's actually be too far away. I think there has one or two available uh, at the the dealers that we deal with. So uh, waiting to do all the paperwork and everything to go with it, and then we should get one. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, we did go for the pretty well specced out uh, model as it goes, and it does look, uh, yeah, it does look rather interesting. So I can't wait to get it. Uh, we've just got a few bits and pieces added onto it, and then it will be ours. So that should all be pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing what that's like. Uh, let's stop that. Okay, and uh, we are going to get ourselves away. I think we're just going to cruise along down the road here. Oh, right then, so we'll get ourselves down. We're going to kind of cut back through down over the river there and see what happens. It shouldn't be too far to go. Um, nice and quiet road to right about now, I would reckon, anyway. We are in the 66. Oh, Lord. There goes what? What in the world? There goes this car and the fire engine. There's some, oh, Lord, there's some more coming. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. There goes another one. I don't quite where are they all racing away to? They're flying down the hill there. Come on, are you come as well. Oh, just wait here. Oh, and then ambulance, oh, good heavens, whatever that is, it's not going to be good. It can't be good. I'm going to get away past that one. Okay. Is it. Are we clear? I don't see anyone else coming. And I'm going that way. I don't think I'll quite keep up with them, but. As you can see that they're bombing over the bridge now already, haven't Okay, well, that was a bit exciting. I wonder where they're going. Uh, we're going to go and uh, nip back on over anyway to the uh, store. Uh, back over to the great hours. Uh, but we're going to nip back over to our yard anyway uh, and see how that what's going on there. We're in the 6820 today. Just thought we'd try something different. Kept the 78 on the slurry tanker. I'm hoping to get a little bit more done. We got one more field done today. I'm probably going to take that up to... Uh, up to old oak and we'll try and get a little bit more knocked out there as well i think uh but that's the plan so we'll see what we can get done there oh we've actually i think i just saw one of them just cut up the other way past past our uh past through the village oh, yeah you can oh interesting anyway uh, we'll have to see we're gonna get ourselves over to the yard there anyway and have a look what's going on uh, and uh, see what we can get ourselves done for the rest of the day. We're about ready to start feeding up, actually, so uh, we'll need to get that one all taken care of. But uh, yeah, it's a nice drive out here. I already took one load away up to uh, up to Old Oak, so we'll we'll take this load just down to uh, down to Altonwood Farm there, and we'll probably get ourselves ready to start bringing the diet feeder back down. We'll do that. We're already down to one tail handler, so we have to be a bit strategic at the moment as to what's going on there, and and, and you know thinking about where the loaders need to be but that shouldn't be for too much longer i don't think then we should be all looking good did that they've all pulled into my yard no what in the world god come on tractor what every single one of them has just pulled in there what is happening here Oh lord, anyway, we're going to have to swing into here and we're going to have to go and find out what is going on because we need to try and save. See where the entire 
Charlie the Valley Emergency Services have landed at my yard here because this is not good news. I don't know what it is. They've all completely surrounded the... Is that a straw on fire? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to find and see what's going on here. See who the punk speak to. I'm going to have to try and salvage some of those bales, I think. Oh, good God. This is not going to be good. Stay with me, folks. We'll see what we can do. All right, we've got the plan. I need to uh, quickly, that straw is starting to get a little bit too hot. We're going to move some of the, move the John Deere out of the way here first, at least. Uh, something we can get to quickly, really. Up goes that. Uh, it looks like one of the neighbors in the village saw some smoke when they were out walking the dog, and they've immediately called the um, call for the fire brigade, which is quite uh, something. Uh, we don't need that anymore. We'll leave that there. Uh, what we do need to do is run, though, because... Am I gonna get anything else out of here? The combine's right in the back there and it's trapped in. Oh lord, no. What we're gonna try and do is try and just get that taken care of. It looks like it's been from deep within inside there, so it hasn't quite caught out to here yet. I think it's only gonna be a matter of time. They're gonna start to try and douse those flames where they can. I'm gonna try and speed around the back with the uh, telehandler and see what we can do about putting those out or trying to pull out some of those bales at the very least. Um, we haven't got the. I haven't got the uh, second, what, two telehandlers at the moment there, and this one I'll have to do. I'm just going to grab all the right hand at the moment there. Uh, spin around here, go forward. Oh, that, no wonder they came flying past here, and then I kept finding them, following them, or like kind of going the same route I would be taking there. And, oh, geez, I don't know who called them, but I'm going to have to give them, uh, find them, and thank them at some stage there. Uh, this barn itself is a relatively old wooden barn. I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't used it for anything yet. The, the hay that or the straw that's in there came with the uh, farm, so um, it's probably it looks quite soft and rotten. One of the summer jobs is going to be trying to shift all of that. Uh, if we can, we'll have to see if we can do what we can. Now I did move a few good bales around the front though recently, just to kind of give us a bit of space. So we'll get those shifted out of the way because they're still valuable uh, and could still be used. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite something. Uh, and the thing is, with bar uh, barn loads of or barns full of straw, once they go, predominantly, there's just no no stopping them really. And what will be left, I don't know. But we'll have to see. We're going to probably try and get some of this gear out here as well, just to be sure. We've got a brand new trailer in there, and amongst other things. So we need to get those shifted. Uh, but this stuff here we're gonna let if we can kind of control that bin i guess we'll try and do that and then just pull out once it's all uh once it's all ready to go but they're going to continue to at least have turned the sirens off now they're going to start to douse that down i think they're just starting to watch it out for it and keep an eye on it and hook, get all the water going uh so we'll have to see how that one looks but that is all a little bit concerning uh let's stop you here okay and then it doesn't really matter about this straw right now i suppose it, We'll do what it does at some point we'll put it into the one of the uh, sheds but i can't stay with these lot too long i've got to go and somehow feed up some cattle so we'll have to uh have to make sure this is all looking good and then we'll come back and see how it's hopefully they can save the shed i'm not, not sure what that'll look like but the main problem is making sure that this fire doesn't spread anywhere to so the machinery behind it they reckon it might be okay where it is now so we'll see uh, but that is all of that unloaded. Uh, I need to go and grab a tractor to stick onto there. Oh god. This was not what I was expecting for today. Uh, run back through here. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? The, which tractor can I use? Where is... Oh, the 77. You're coming with me. around we go there fantastic there so yeah like i say we're i don't know what this is going to look like we'll have to wait and see what the morning brings really once this is all the dust has settled on it and see how we can uh we can react to it but it's probably going to be a bit of a mess uh and we'll have to see i just want to get everything out of there and get it all safe for now and then we'll let the, the emergency services really do their thing and uh see how that looks if you can see i'm absolutely flying along to try and uh to try and get away from all of this the good grief uh, so let's see what this will look like. I just want to get this safe. There's also actually good having there's some uh, bags of nitrogen floating around here. That should probably be removed as well. Otherwise, that becomes a little bit explosive. I think. Uh, we'll just 
just pull ourselves out forward here. Excellent. Love you about there. So once again, Frank's luck seems to continue. It doesn't look like that. Uh, I get much joy with around fire here, so we'll see. You can still see a bit in the way that I'm got it under control just yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if they can. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, if they can get that just taken care of, so I can get it out. I'd be happy with that because I don't want that in here anyway. We'll have to, I was going to try and get it, looking for somewhere to get it sent to for, for compost, really. So if we can do that, ideal. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, all right. So next up is we're going to try and shift those. Or we might even just uh, inform the fire brigade of them just to keep an eye on it and make sure everything's looking good there. That might be a better move. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see what... What else we can do here? But heavens, is it ever going to be a bit of the uh, crazy? I don't know where they've all gone. I'm going to leave them to do their thing and try and clear some space in case there's any more of them coming here. Uh, we'll just stick this in the corner there first. Um, okay, there's an ambulance here as well. We're not going to get around there because of the ambulance. Heavens, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Okay, we have to hope there's just no one else coming then we'll worry about that later on uh, so yeah what we need to do is try and figure out how we can help here see what we can piece together see how that's going to go uh and then hopefully hopefully get this all kind of put out nice and quickly there i don't want to get too close but it's got a little bit a little bit of heat coming through it is starting to smolder starting to get a little bit more intense so they're gonna have to start to put that fire out pretty quickly uh, and hopefully they'll do just that uh, right now there was not much more we can do this is gonna be very short because uh, frankly I need to go and just uh, help out where I can and move some things around move some bales around probably we'll see how it goes until next time though we'll keep you updated folks I have been Frank this has been uh, a rather tense uh, episode of a Dairyman Sorry, I hope you can get some enjoyment out of it and we will see you all in the next one until then thank you very much stay safe enjoy what you're doing and we'll see you later